smash that like button first and subscribe. All right, welcome to Knott's Fishing, the Broken Pilot House, part two. This is all the trash that was inside this pilot house. It was just filthy, disgusting. I think the boat sat for about 10 to 15 years um, inside here. Just this whole floor was soft. Uh, had to move all this stuff to be able to cut it out. This is the start of cutting. Uh, my blade was a little dull, so I ended up having to stop the video and changing it and uh, starting again, but used the vacuum there to suck up all the dust to try and prevent the glass from getting all over you. And here we got half the floor cut out. Thought we was only gonna have to do half, but as you can see, that water just went all the way over to the other side of the boat. So we had to cut that side out too. Not what I was hoping for, but at least I know the whole complete floor is cut out, replaced. The stringers look pretty good. There was one side that had a little bit of rot to it, but uh, I cut that portion out and put some uh, new wood in there and glassed it over. It should work, not the perfect solution, but it's, it's gonna last for quite a while. Next, we had this bulkhead, had to replace it. It was nasty. I was surprised to see the foam filled stringers. Here's a little bit of cutting the bulkhead out. This was still with that uh, dull blade and filming, pain in the ass to do with uh, one hand. All the garbage, rotten wood. Brought the vacuum and the shovel in, got all that out, cleaned up. Big task, I felt like I was accomplished when I made it to this point here, but not quite so fast. Here we are all cleaned up. Vacuum worked well, got it dried up. Ready for glass the following day. And here's the bulkhead cleaned up. Got a nice gap to put the wood underneath. So we got a nice tight, nice tight fit. Here we got the solid stringers. Hitting it with a hammer to double check everything solid. Um, everything was good, other than that one spot I mentioned earlier. Clean that up. We're going to use 1708 epoxy, and then the uh, actual top side we're using some just regular uh, polyester resin. But for the bulkhead, I did use epoxy. Here's our wood coming in, starting to fit up nice. Originally, I was thinking about making a uh, storage area inside that little area in between the stringers, but uh, we decided against that for now. Here's our 1708, first layer cut out. About to make another run and cut one more layer out. We did two layers of 1708 and uh, it worked out pretty well. Brought the gap right up to right where we needed with just a little bit of fairing needed. Here's our second layer of 1708 and here is the finished product of it all laid up. I just did not have the time or the patience to try and set up the camera with that resin all over my hands and stuff trying to video. So unfortunately we missed that recording, but it come out pretty well. Had a couple small air voids from a little bit of dirt from where I had to stand on the uh, layers. I did such a big layer. If I had to do it again, I'd do it in halves. And here is the fairing, the first layer mixed in. This side right there is where the bench seat sits. It does not need to be fared out that well, so we did not do that side. But we fared all the other stuff. Starting to cut it into the other floor and blend it in so it looks nice. And then uh, a lot of sanding. Uh, I leveled it out where it had a nice little channel trough to go to the back of the boat and put a little V in it so that it drained right dead center of the boat there. And we'll put a drain in there later. 
and here is the final product before we put some gel coat on it. It was a bear. I felt nasty, itchy. All the things you think when you think about fiberglass was being felt right here in about 100 degree weather, Florida, of course. And here is the final step, gel coat laid down. I can't remember if this is the first or second coat of gel coat, but uh, I think it is the first, but it may have been the second. I'm not positive. And right there, that's the last place we're going to have to do. I'll do a separate video on that whenever I do that and record the whole thing since it's such a small piece. And here's the final product. Got the bench seat back in. Next, we just got to clean this up. Then I'm going to do some non-skid in there and then bolt our seat back in eventually. And here we are, the before and the after. What a difference. And thanks for watching Knott's Fishing. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.